Getting a grip on Memphis's crime crisis requires getting juvenile crime under control. And tonight, Shelby County Commission made a multi-million dollar commitment to improve the way juvenile court helps troubled kids. Action News 5's Joyce Peterson joins us live now in studio with how much money it's going to cost you and how your taxpayer dollars will be used. Joyce? Yeah, Joe, Juvenile Court Judge Tarek Sugarman asked the Shelby County Commission tonight for more than $2 million to hire more employees and to modernize the court's computer system. And the commission gave him a resounding green light, unanimous approval to make it happen. Memphis is a city under siege, and many of those responsible for the current crime epidemic are kids. I'm committed to service in the community where it is needed. Judge Tarek Sugarman, who took over leadership of Shelby County Juvenile Court last year, told the Shelby County Commission Monday night he has a plan to lower the juvenile crime rate. He asked the commission for $2.3 million to hire 21 new youth development counselors. They will be working directly with the families, not doing the paperwork just to get them out of the court, but directly with the families to make sure the services are there and that the direction of those children is a proactive way, and we're going to work with the school system. Judge Sugarman said the additional funding will make juvie court salaries more competitive. By a unanimous 12-0 to 0 vote, the commission approved his request. Our legislative priority as a, as a body is public safety, and obviously it's a multi-pronged approach, but helping our disconnected youth is certainly um, an important part of that. But this one is one that, that is so near and dear to me, especially from understanding the research of that if we don't take care of it now, we're going to pay a lot more later. Judge Sugarman said juvenile court will connect more at-risk kids with more nonprofits like Youth Villages, Affirm, and Families Matter, groups that have the resources and the knowledge to equip Memphis children and their families with the skills needed to be successful in life. I know what is needed. Trust me on this, if you will. Uh, this money will be well spent. These Youth service offices will be well utilized in this community. Okay, so the 2021 annual report, which is the most recent available online, said that Shelby County Juvenile Court handles 30,000 cases a year. That's a massive workload. The commissioners told Judge Sugarman tonight they want quarterly updates with real-time data to show them how his plan is working and how those millions of tax dollars are being spent. Live in studio tonight, I'm Joyce Peterson, Action News 5.